ಕಾದ ಬೇಗ In 2007 we traveled through the vast wilderness of northeast India to learn about its forests and people. This is our second morning in the jungles around Rachi village with a group of Nishi tribesmen. It is a rare license to be allowed to accompany them into the forest. The Nishi are a hunter community. who have little contact with the modern world. The jungle stretches thick and lush around Rachi village for miles. This is their private domain, their community property. Whatever they do here, they consider their right. The expanse of forests around Rachi is a speck in the wild lands of northeast India. Some of the last few pockets of rainforests in the world exist here. These forests teem with wildlife from the crown to the canopy. Still one can only catch a fleeting glimpse of rare birds and mammals that live in these dense jungles as we spend time with the nishi group we understand their deep bond with the forest it is their home their lives rooted in it hunting has always been common here but the nature of that hunting has changed It is no longer just a way of life. It is being driven by an increasing need for cash necessary in a modern world. We first came to the northeast in 2002. We were here to film the story of orphan bear cubs being rehabilitated in the wild in Parke National Park in Arunachal Pradesh. <coughs> These bears have been orphaned by hunting. Is their survival in the wild even possible as long as hunting exists? How widespread is hunting in this region? Is the current scale of hunting sustainable? What is the future of wildlife here? These questions led us across different parts of northeast India for several years. The deeper we went, the more signs of hunting we saw. We have returned to Rachi to capture and understand the situation on the ground. A 2-hour walk from the nearest roadhead, Rachi mirrors many other villages in the northeast with no electricity, road, proper schools or healthcare. 
about 60 Nishi families live here. We had come here with Tarang, the first graduate from this village. He now works with the forest department. Tarang was here with a purpose in his mind. Tarang's father, Naban Taya, was one of the best hunters of his generation. He was regarded to be the uh, father of hunter. He was the best. And in that time, the status of my father for hunting was also very high in the village. In the old days, to be an ace hunter was a position of high honor. You achieved it with great skill and austere practice. Very few made the mark. Now, there is a troubling shift. And nowadays, it is not seen in the village because everybody is a hunter. Even the, even the school boys who got education, they came back with the gun and they become a hunter. Tarang's words echoed what we ourselves had seen across the northeast. Hunting is deep-rooted and exists in different forms in different parts of the region. Most young boys hunt, partly for leisure, partly because they have nothing else to do, and also because it's a traditional role they are expected to fulfill. हम लोग ये रास्ता से जाके ओ एकदम प्रा ओ बादल एक पकड़ लिया ओ जगह में हम लोग आज छुएगा मने तो ओ जगह में हम लोग जानवर देख मिलेगा मने आज तो इसे हम लोग जाएगा 